In this video, we're going to show how to remove the Jax cryptocurrency wallet from a Windows 10 system. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the application files that you get when you download Jax, and then we're going to go take a look at the data files that are generated when you create your Jax wallet. And once we've shown both of these sets of files, then we'll, we'll know what we need to do to be able to remove the wallet and the application from a Windows 10 system. So when you download Jax, you're going to get, you're going to end up with a folder that looks like this. It's going to say Jax and it's going to give you the version of Jax that you've downloaded. So you open that up, you have two things inside. One is a link to the application, you double click that to run it. The second thing is the application files. These files make up the, the Jax application. Now we'll go ahead and run the Jax application. Double click on the exe, click open. And I've already generated a wallet previously. So what we'll see when Jax launches is the wallet. So here we can see the wallet that I've previously generated. We've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Now, if we were going to remove this wallet, or if we wanted to remove all three of these wallets by removing the Jax application, we'd want to make sure that either A, we have no funds in the wallet, or B, that we have a backup of the wallet uh, via the passphrase. So what I'm going to do now is show you where the actual data is stored for this wallet. So backspace until you get to your user and then you want to type app data and if it doesn't show up for you just type it click enter and then you want to go to roaming and then you'll notice a Jax folder. So we go into Jax we can see that this all of these uh, files and uh, directories make up the or contain the data that the Jax application uses whenever it launches. So for a test, what I want to do is take this Jax data directory and move it. And from there, I want to go back into the application, I want to start Jax up again and I want to see what happens. So this time we start Jax and we get a different screen. We're seeing, we're getting the release notes and if we click continue, we're getting the end user uh, license agreement. If we click accept, we're getting the ability to create a new wallet or restore. So what this demonstrates is that Jax believes that we have not um, created a wallet previously. Now, if we close this, we go back into our roaming folder and our user's app data folder, we'll see there's a new um, Jax directory here where the new data is going to be stored as soon as the new wallet is created. So. Over here, this folder that we moved, this has our previous wallet with the Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum um, wallets. So, so if we want to get that wallet back, then we can go ahead and just delete this uh, Jax directory and put the old one back and then run Jax again. And this time when Jax launches, we won't get the opportunity to create a new wallet because there's already one created and we're back to our Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. So I hope that what this demonstrates is that in order to 
delete the Jax wallet and the Jax application, you have to do two things. Number one, you have to remove the download that you got, but the, all that's going to do is remove the application. If you actually want your wallet to be removed, you have to go into your users directory. You want to go to app data roaming, and then you can delete the, the Jax data, which uh, is where your all of your wallet information is stored. 